What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seth the Line Surgeon. Um, this video, I know y'all see the title. Um, it's called Taking One for the Team. And what I mean by that, you know, <clears throat> sometimes you just got to take one for the team, so to speak. And what I mean by that is I put myself in a situation where I have to do extra work essentially for free. And I know a lot of people out there, you know, whether you're new, old, whatever, y'all kind of like nickel and dime, you know what I mean? And, and it's understandable because you don't want to do work for free. Like um, Calfus from the uh, Employee Trap says, you don't want to do work for free, but at the same time, If you uh, over charge somebody, then they might leave a bad taste in their mouth. And let me give you an example of, of my situation of a job that I'm on my way to do that I kind of created and the customer kind of created at the same time. Okay. Now, this particular customer hired me to see the yard and they had stuff in their backyard um, the day that I was seeding it. So I seeded their front yard, right? And then in the backyard, they was moving or something. And so um, I said, I'll just come back and do the backyard another time. And mind you, this is a regular customer. So my regular customers, I really don't um, call and tell them when I'm coming back. I kind of just like go show up, do it. They pay me later, right? So that's what I plan on doing, which was a mistake because guess what? The second time I came back to do the yard, I um, he was moving the stuff out of his shed. You know, the first time he was moving stuff out of his house in his backyard. Now this time he's taking everything out of the shed to put new shelvings and stuff in there. So I said, all right, fine, I'll come back again. So that time when I came the second time, he had some leaves, some leaves starting to fall on the ground, and I said, uh, you know, I was I brought my sweet brows and sweep them up. So now, within the past week, it's gotten really cold here, and all the leaves from all the trees essentially have fallen. So I know when I go back here today. Like, pretty much all the leaves are going to be off the tree in the backyard. You know what I mean? And most people will say, you know, because not only am I seeding, I got to move all those leaves. I have to clean up all those leaves somehow. And most people will say, well, you need to charge him for that because, um, you know, that's a lot of extra work. But it's not kind of, it's kind of not a lot of extra work to me because... I um I have my sweeper, you know what I mean. I just hook it up to my sweeper. It probably take me uh, 20 minutes riding around on my lawnmower, sweep all that up. I'm gonna take it by the woods, and I'm blowing everything in the woods. So it's not that much work, but you know, it's it, to me it will kind of look bad for me to go back to that customer and be like, hey, you know, I gotta charge you extra for these, doing these leaves, you know what I mean? He never said that he wanted to pay anybody to clean his leaves up as of yet. So, uh, I mean, in my eyes, essentially, he's getting a free leaf job, you know, for his backyard, essentially, but, you know, that's just me, you know what I mean? Y'all can leave y'all comments on y'all opinions about that, but I feel that, you know, if I was more persistent in trying to get here, I was kind of taking my time. If I was more persistent in trying to get back, I could have came back the next day, whatever, whatever. Even though I was busy and I had other stuff to do, <clears throat> I still didn't want to charge him for the leaf job, you know what I mean? And so, it's fine with me because, you know what I mean, I love being outside, I love doing this, so. 
but that's my opinion. You know, sometimes you gotta take one for the team. You know what I mean? You don't have to nickel and dime your customers for every little thing. They'll notice it. If they're good customers, they'll notice the extra stuff you're doing, the extra mile you're going to save them some money. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's all I had to say about that. And so, I'm gonna do a separate video once I get to this job um, to show y'all the actual yard. Well, actually, and I'm gonna add a clip at the end of this video so y'all can see the yard. You know, what I mean? I'm not gonna film myself cleaning it up. I might do it before and after so y'all can see, but um, you know, I'm not gonna film myself doing it. But I'll do it before and after so y'all can see the yard, how it looks, and see how it looks after. And I'll let y'all know how long it took me to clean up the leaves. All right, stay tuned. All right. All right, this is the back. Uh, it's not as bad as I thought. Yeah, it's not that bad. There's not a really lot of leaves up on that hill. But the main part is down here. I guess most of the leaves from over there fell in their yard, so that's a good thing. But yeah, I'm just going to get everything off this fence line. I'm from around a dog fence. It's a cool dog. And, um, yeah, come back here, seed it, treat it, keep it moving. Got random debris in here. But, yep, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Alright, this is what I got done. There y'all can see. I swept down there. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think ten pounds. I don't know, I lost count. But yeah. <clears throat> got it all uh, swept. Well, I didn't get it all swept. I'm going to go back over with the leaf blower. And like I said, the purpose of this is not to clean up the leaves. It's more so... I don't like having leaves on the ground when I put down seeds because you want the seeds to get down to the soil. So if I, there's leaves down, essentially the seeds and the fertilizer is just going to sit on top of the leaves. So that's why I like to get everything up before I put it down. So it's not going to be fine tooth. I'm not going up under the deck. I'm not going all around the edges really. I just want to clear out the main areas that, you know, have leaves. I mean, main areas. I'm gonna put seeds, and then I'll throw down the seeds, and I'll be out. Yeah. So I'm gonna go get my leaf blower, kind of like glaze the other areas, clean it up, and then keep it moving. All right. As y'all can see, cleaned it up enough to get them seeds down. There you have it. Like I said, I'm not doing no freaking a leaf cleanup because I'm essentially just getting leaves up to put seeds down. But there you go. Got my seeds down, got my lime down, bug treatment on deck. Alright. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. Yeah.